Alright guys, so today we're just going to do something a little bit different. Today we're going to take a look at the old Blackberry playbook and see how it's still holding up opposed to all the other big shots out there, the iPad, all the Galaxy tablets and whatnot. So this tablet was initially released in 2011, so it's quite old. It's six years old now. Anyway, it's got a one gigahertz processor and one gigabyte of RAM, so that's not comparable to anything else we have out there now. It's got, there were three types. There was 16, 32, and 64 gigabytes versions of flash memory. This is the 32 gigabyte version. The display is seven inch and it's its uh, resolution is 1024 by 600 pixels. It's got 1080p HDMI output and it's got PowerVR SGX540 graphics. It still has sound. It's got stereo microphones, loudspeaker. It's got the 3.5 millimeter jack and it's got a 1080p HD video camera still even from all, way back then it's got 5, mil, 5 megapixel camera in the rear and 3 megapixel in the front it's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity micro USB and micro HDMI but as soon as the playbook gets booted up we're gonna take a quick look at it and see how it still holds up regarding applications browsing and anything else Alright, so we have the tablet up and running finally after it takes a while. I will put in my password. I finally brought it out of my closet because it was just sitting there and collecting dust. So now we're going to take a quick look at it and see how, how it's still holding up. Okay, so the battery is quite low, 48%, nice and bright still. I've always liked the layout of this tablet. I liked the way it had the power menu, the all of its settings, it, it was just very nicely organized. But unfortunately, it's no longer it's no longer sold by actual retailers. You can pick it up on Amazon, on eBay, and any other off-brand sites like that. Specifically, now looking at the let's start with its app store, which is called BlackBerry World. As you can see, quite slow at booting up nothing great now let's see what apps it still has um, let's look oh here's a category let's discover great music let the beat drop so very very slow at actually loading as we can see it still has some apps available They do seem to be free, which is nice, but there's not there's not a lot of apps. So if we go back, let's just go games. Um, most of the games, as I see here, they do cost money. There's not a lot of free games, which unfortunately sucks, especially for a tablet that is no longer produced. They're not getting anything out of it of people that purchased it, especially like myself. So let's check out some featured. No, back to games. Back to games. All right, let's check out football games. There's a few free games. Nothing great, unfortunately, right now. Apps. Photo apps. That's always been on the playbook, as I recall. So nothing great, unfortunately, right now if we get out of it let's just check whatever else it has here it has the camera and it still has as I see it's got the video chat and I remember being able to video chat with my friends when we all used to have playbooks like this unfortunately I don't think you can video chat anymore because everybody has either a Samsung or an iPad you can still have ebooks calculator Adobe Reader calendar contacts because you used to be able to connect it with your phone with your blackberry phone and you still can and you'd be able to text and talk to people that you had messages going on with over on your actual smartphone now I remember when I was using this tablet I did not like its specific browser so I downloaded dolphin browser because chrome was not supported 
and still isn't. Now let's see a quick speed test. Let's just go on to Google. That is pretty slow, but unfortunately, I think it is still better than those weird Android tablets you can purchase at like Walmart for a hundred dollars that all come running with Dolphin browser and are very cheaply made. This is still made with some decent quality. So that is very nice to see. Now let's just go to a random, web, not a random website, let's go to YouTube. The typing is still nice on it. Let's go to YouTube and let's check out the sound quality of this tablet. Let's see what it can still do. As you can see, very, very slow. But I still think it is faster than those Hip Street tablet or the off brands. Uh, since we want to check audio quality, no, I do not want to sign in. Let's just search for, uh, let's go 24 karat magic by Bruno Mars just so we can get a quick idea of what it sounds like okay So the speakers are still very good. That's not even as loud as it goes. To the moon. So the speaker quality on this is still pretty good. Actually, one of the best on the tablets. I don't. It's got better idea than my S7. Now let's see. It used to have a great multitasking multi function. Let's see if it still has that and I want to see that because I remember using it because I slightly used it for school and it was just a great a great way of being able to multitask certain things. Let's skip, I don't want my contacts. Let's open up uh, calculators, no. Okay, we're opening up a messy soccer game. I had previously installed on here because I am a soccer fan. Let's open up my calculator as well. As you can see even the basic applications are quite slow. Now you used to be able to swipe left to right on the screen and you still can which is really nice for quick multitasking. I would like to see that more on actual tablets. I know there's multitasking available but it's just not as fluent. I think this is one thing that Blackberry did a very good job with. Now the graphics are not great. Let's check out some quick... Uh, let's not play this game. Let's play something else. Let's just check out... Here, I've got Modern Combat, which is a ripoff of like Call of Duty. Still made by Gameloft. I just want to see how this tablet still performs in certain game scenarios. Okay, so let's open it up. Turn the game on. It's still very slow. It still has a multiplayer function. That's nice. Uh, let's just hit new game because why not just to see if it's the work let's go easy because we are noobs and we will see how this still works so great speakers the quality is still good like overall I'm still I'm still impressed with the quality of this tablet. It, I wish Blackberry and RIM would not have given up on it, but I know RIM went bankrupt and big story over there. But I personally think that at its time it was a great tablet and it still is a pretty decent tablet if you can find yourself a used one 
and you want to buy it for like one of your kids if they want if you want to give them something cheap instead of spending a bunch of money instead of spending it for one of those poor quality hip street tablets it's just it's still better there we go game quality is still pretty good so I will not complain in general like I said if you want something for your kids something cheap you can find these on eBay on Amazon for between fifty dollars and a hundred dollars and it's not a bad buy considering you can still watch YouTube you can still play some games not as many apps as in the App Store or as, or as in the Play Store but I think it would do for a little toddler because I think that's what the content left is mostly for. We've got like Tiny Bird cool little fun game that they could play. So I think at its time it was a definitely a great tablet now obviously not so much but I think it is still better than its other weird options that are out there in the market nowadays in like Walmart and random stores that you will find so thank you guys for liking subscribe please like if you enjoyed the video comment share with your friends and I hopefully I will be able to bring you guys more cool content like this peace